today's video, we're going to take a look at one of my old setups and then look at a possible secondary entry. And it's in GM. And in this case, um, the original setup was a two-step or a zigzag pattern into the support here with the focus of uh, 39.94 to 40.69. We did see a nice little rally off of that area, but we have not seen the target that I would be looking for off of this low. The typical target I'm going to look at for this uh, zigzag or two-step pattern is going to be this 48.41 area. So let's go to a lower time frame chart and see about a secondary entry because I believe that there have been uh, buy signals already from that last low. But now that it's pulling back, what do you do with it? Do you give up? No, actually, um, we're going to look at another potential entry with this pullback. So here I've taken some of these prior declines and compared them to the current decline. I've also run some retracements and extensions of prior swings. And I'm finding another area for a potential secondary entry. And uh, some of the some of this support, the higher support was already taken out. But as far as what we have right now, anywhere from this 41.35 to 67 area stands out for me. Okay, and we're in the zone. So what do you need to see to tell you that it's okay to look for a new entry? Well, there's a couple of things you can do. One of them, if you're looking for, uh, let's see, a swing trade entry, the aggressive swing trade trigger, which will get stopped out more often than the other, um, would be a 15 minute chart. So what would you need to see with this pullback in mind? Well, you'd need to see the moving average crossover. You want to see the eight cross above the 34. And then you also want to see in that process, taking out a prior swing high, you know, suggesting a, a pattern shift from, you know, lower lows and lower highs to higher highs and higher lows. If we see both of those things, and I think you can look at um, uh, GM on the buy side, you know, with this pullback, and you can define your risk either underneath the low that's made prior to your trigger firing off, or you can place a stop underneath this uh, 41.35 area, okay? Again, um, you can make other choices with that, but this is the way that I would typically look at it. There's one other thing that you can see on this chart that if we take 100% of these prior low to high swings and project it from the new low, that's going to show you what we need to clear as far as symmetry to make this uh, setup look better, okay? Which is basically would mean that we would be rallying for more than these two prior larger projections. Um, and if we do clear this area, that would be the first indication that this low might be more important because if you can break the bearish symmetry, we're more likely to continue to, uh, or actually to resume the rally here. So those are a couple things you can look at in GM if you want to trade that. And uh, I hope it makes sense.